Good evening. My name is Danelle Delva, and I am currently a junior here at Fairfield Prep. First and foremost, I would like to thank all of you here for the generosity made possible for me to speak to you this evening as a student at Fairfield Prep. In addition, I'd like to thank our president, Father Thomas Miski, for inviting me and my family to be at this event. Finally, I would also like to thank everyone who went over this speaker. I was born in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and lived there all my life. I attended Bryant Elementary School, a place most dear to my heart. Bryant is located on the street that I used to live on and was only a two minute walk away from my house. I attended Bryant Elementary School for seven years and later attended James J. Curiel School, Middle School in Bridgeport. The transition from elementary to middle school was a huge, huge step in my, in my development. My mom went from watching my brother and I as we walked down the street together to our elementary school to eventually having to get me a little track phone to make sure we made it to our middle school. I'll tell you, my parents are strict. Still are. <laughs> I really enjoyed my time at Curio because during that time, I was becoming more independent. I learned how to walk to school without the supervision of my parents. I learned to do homework for several different teachers. But most importantly, I was becoming more independent through the guidance of my parents. I love my parents. What kind of kids would say they don't? <laughs> but I truly find what my parents did and still do, is completely remarkable. Both of my parents are Haitian immigrants, and they both became American citizens. It's never been easy for them, and I thank God for getting them through so many tribulations. Right now, my dad is the sole breadwinner in the house. On the other hand, my mom has had schizophrenia for as long as I can remember. She has been in and out of the hospital for years. It doesn't make it easier that she has a metal rod running down her knee from when she broke her leg. Despite my mom's physical and mental challenges, I never expected the weird puzzle pieces of my life to fall so perfectly into place. My dad goes off to work from 5 a.m. to about 4 p.m. During this time, despite my mom's illness, she makes sure we eat breakfast, helps us find ties that match our shirts, <laughs> drives us to school, picks us up later, cooks dinner for everyone, and finally makes sure everyone gets to bed on time. I give God all the credit for such a smooth operation in my household and really appreciate what my parents do for me. And although they never want me to feel like I need to repay them in any way, I always give my best effort to uphold what they've taught me should be the greatest focal point for life, education. I try to live out the value of education in prep every day. My prep experience has been unequivocally the sweetest. <laughs> to quote New England Patriot CEO Robert Kraft. <laughs> I could not imagine that experience. I could not imagine that such an experience would be possible were it not for the benefit of financial aid. 
Because of the strong foundation my parents and teachers provided, I've always dreamt of attending a school that would inspire and propel me to reach my maximum poten potential, both in and outside the classroom. Fairfield Prep was my dream school. However, the possibility of attending prep was literally a dream because my family could not afford the tuition. After reading the vision statement, I discovered that prep had more to offer than just academics. As a Jesuit school, prep's mission focuses on transforming young men who will go forth and set the world on fire for the greater glory of God. So, attending, attending prep would not only enable me to become smarter, but I would also learn how to serve the greater good. My dream of attending prep was suddenly becoming a reality when I opened the envelope from the admissions office and realized that someone believed in me. Not only did my dream of attending prep come true, but someone believed in me enough to invest in my future financially. Someone's generosity, and yours, paid for 90% of my tuition. I gotta tell you, that first day when I got dropped off, I was so nervous, I didn't even notice I was walking. <laughs> It was like entering a whole new world. The majority of people I saw did not look like me. And when I looked in the parking lot, I saw cars that I'd only previously seen as the grand prize on the wheel of fortune. <laughs> <laughs> However, over time, I was no longer nervous. I didn't consider my classmates as strangers, but rather, they were now my brothers, regardless of our differences in our looks and backgrounds. Prep instilled in me a true sense of confidence and security. Now, when I see those cars, I see my future self. <laughs> I see a future in which I will be able to afford one of those cars someday. As I stand before you this evening, I represent my school with utmost pride. So, I'm not just Danelle, but a man with a purpose and a reputation to sustain. I'm not just a child of immigrants, but a man of intellectual competence. No longer am I confined and relegated to my place in society because I am a man of conscience. Prep has taught me to live the logic. I am now a man who has compassion for others. With everything I've learned throughout these three years and everything I plan to continue to learn, I will make sure that I take that beyond the mere scope of my environment, because I am now a man committed to doing justice in our global society. There is no way that I could ever thank you enough for your generosity and for such of the extraordinary good you have done. But I promise that my prep education and, and well-rounded experiences, I will one day sit in your seat, staring proudly at a young man whose education I have contributed to, contributed to at this same event. Thank you.